insights of my life, my daily living, um, me being a mom, content creating life, like everything, and also some of the more serious things I kind of wanted to accomplish before turning 30. Now, um, I'm not gonna like not be realistic and say that I'm just going to knock everything out <laughs> but it's definitely like it's definitely my goal to try to do as much as I can so that I can kind of like step myself up to at least you know live easier simple <laughs> and better in my 30s and then once I'm 30 if you know the Lord let me make it to see that then I will pick up where I left off. So. Okay, so I'm about to get ready to go to the gym. I'm not even gonna lie, like I woke up extremely late today. It is literally 4.05 in the afternoon and I'm just getting breakfast. And I know that's bad, but I had to rest and I had so many other things that I had to do this morning. And then I also have my kids home on break, um, on the Christmas break, uh, winter break or whatever. So that kind of like had me really, really busy this morning and then I did some cleaning. So now I'm gonna get ready. Probably gonna eat some oatmeal or something for today. And I'm gonna make me a glass of tea and then I'm going to head out to the gym after I finish my laundry. It's just I do have a lot of things I'm doing and I'm still trying to vlog my day in between that. So this is what I'm wearing to the gym today. And I'm not even gonna kid, I'm not even gonna kid with y'all. Like literally I since Thanksgiving <laughs> and since Thanksgiving and since Christmas, I've literally gained probably around eight to 10 pounds since like Thanksgiving. So I know after Thanksgiving, I was like eight pounds bigger. And then after Christmas, I was probably like 10 to 12 pounds bigger than I was at Thanksgiving. So this is me. So I'm going to let y'all just follow me around today. Mm -hmm. So guys, I know it is late and I still have not went to the gym yet. <laughs> so, I am going to try and go to the gym now. Now, earlier I did do a sit down video and I recorded some things or whatever, but my camera went dead obviously. So now I'm going to just probably take you guys along with me to the gym. And then when I come back, I will probably do a sit down and talk of closing my night out. But, but yeah, I just wanted to come on and document some parts of my day. And I'll take you guys to the gym with me and then we can talk afterwards. Okay, y'all, so I'm here at the gym. I'm supposed to be in here. I have on my health size hoodie <laughs> because it is like 45 degrees outside. So I had to put a jacket on. But yeah, I'm supposed to be in here. I'm probably not gonna stay long because it's late. So I'm probably gonna get like 45 minutes in and then I'm going to leave. Um, because I do have to get home and prep up for it tomorrow. Um, I do actually have on a sports bra under here, but since it's cold, I'm keeping on this hair. It's just a really simple gym look today. <laughs> 
Okay, so I'm in here trying to scratch and I really don't think I'm doing this one. <laughs> it's like I'm not doing it well. I don't think I'm doing this one. This is my one true stretch. I've never ever used this before, but I do know I need to stretch. But I'm gonna be honest, I don't know what I'm doing right now. <laughs> so, so yeah, um. I'm just trying my best to follow the instructions that I see so I can stretch my muscles before I go and do this because oh my god my muscles really hurt like real hurt so oh my god I am so <laughs> out of shape right now like I am so out of shape last year I was pretty good but this year I don't have no One thing I hate the most is come to the gym when it's extremely crowded. So I did check like the crowd meter thingy on the app before I came because I was like, I'm not gonna go if it's crowded because I know how hectic that can be. So this one is not crowded right now, and that's like I'm done with it. But I really need to be a trainer. And yeah, my dad is a trainer, so I'm probably gonna have to get him to help me because I really don't know what I'm doing when I come to the gym when it comes down to like weightlifting. But besides the one machine that I'm always doing, but when it comes to like weightlifting and stuff like that, I never know what I'm doing. So I want to have to get somebody like my dad. <laughs> To come to the gym with me. So, oh. oh, and there it is. And there it is, guys. Look. Okay, guys. There it is. This is the one that hurts the most. So we're gonna do this today. I did not bring my stand or my camera stand, so I'm sorry that you will not be able to watch me do this today. So I actually just did my first five minutes. <laughs> my first five minutes on this machine and it has a five minute cooldown. If you start to do this machine, you will build strength to the point where you probably can go 10 and 20 minutes at a time. But since I'm just starting off, I don't want to hurt myself. So I'm going to go five minutes and then stop five and then go five and stop five. I am in the air and I am tired. <laughs> so, this time, y'all, I went ahead and pushed past the five minutes and I decided to go 30 minutes. But I am proud of me because, whoo, y'all, this was not easy to do. But I know what I'm doing and well, I know what I'm doing for me and I know what I want for myself. So when I want something, I don't give up easily. So I kind of just go get it. <laughs> and so I know I've done this machine before and by me doing this machine before, I know what the results will do. I am not at all like crying, even when I feel the burn. Like when you feel the burn on this machine, that is your sign to keep going. Like when you push through the burn, it's gonna get easier after that. It's gonna get easier. But if you give up when you start feeling your leg burning or your butt burning, if you give up, it's gonna continue to be hard. And you're not gonna be able to go long periods of time. But if you go ahead and just like, look, let me just push through this, okay? You will get through it, literally. I am so high, I am so tired. I can't wait to get some water. My mouth is dry. If you're gonna do this, bring your lip gloss or a chapstick, because I love mine. 
I don't know how I left mine, but I did. And I also left my water jug at home too, so yeah. Y'all can imagine how I feel right now. This is day one. I'm going to see how I do tomorrow. And yeah, I hope anybody who is doing this, I hope you get through your day and get through your journey on this machine because this machine is not easy. Now, before I go, I'm gonna do my one last machine, which is the leg raises or something. I don't know the name of it, but I'll show it to you. I'm gonna go do like 25 of them on that machine. Here's the other machine. I like to do it. I like to put it on like, um, Sixty or eighty or something like that, and just kind of like do like twenty-five reps. So because it is late, I'm gonna go ahead and head home. And then tomorrow, when I come on time, I will then try to incorporate it into my routine. So I'm gonna wash my hands and look at me. I'm so this is day one. I guess it's not flat, but it's not where I want it to be. So yeah, this is day one. So I can't wait to see what it looks like later. It's not flat, but it's not poke either. I'm gonna wash my hands and myself together and then I'm going to go and this is probably going to end my night so I'm probably it's probably going to be like the last thing I do record tonight I don't know I might record because when I get home I'm going to read my bible take my shower journal a little bit for like five minutes probably like on the end of my day or whatever and then prep myself up for tomorrow so and then i'm gonna get in bed well i'm gonna eat which i know i should not be eating this late but because i had a late day i'm having a late meal because i'm not gonna go to bed hungry but i will try to eat something that's a little more i'll talk to you girls later Thank you.